where are my protective style girlies? You know, I mean the one that you have no hair left out. You don't have to worry about your hair. It's hot, y'all. My hair is tucked away, not trying to play, but look at these curls. And just wait till you see them when it's fully dry. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to need you to keep on watching so you can see how we did this viral crochet method with no leave out and it looks so bomb. The hair that I will be using today is from Eunice. All the information on this hair will be down below. This is their curly V-part wig. I personally have been seeing the crochet method a lot, but I have never tried it for myself. So this video will be me giving it a try for the first time. This is how the hair looks after I co-wash with some Aussie conditioner. And this is the construction. Y'all, this is how the hair looks installed. I went ahead and threw on a cap because I thought it was so cute. But let me not lie to y'all. <laughs> I threw on that cap so I can go to the store. But now we're back to go ahead and install it. We're going to place this like a normal V part. So we're going to act like we have leave out, but we don't because we kind of want to keep those two middle braids showing. This is just something I've done after I've watched a few videos. One thing that I learned that if you have a tighter braid, sometimes it can be hard to clip your clips into the braid. So make sure you're not braiding your hair as tightly or simply do like an anchor braid method with a low bun or ponytail and it'll work just fine. So this is me making sure I have it placed where I want it. And then once I do that, we're just going to go ahead and take out our crochet needle. Yes, y'all, this is the crochet method and we're just going to be crocheting the hair through, right? That simple? Um, I'm gonna be real with y'all. It wasn't a walk in the park for me at first, but once I actually did a couple of pieces, this was probably the most convenient and easiest method to fake a blend I've ever done. So go ahead and keep on watching. I'm gonna show you guys my attempts that I failed, <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys the attempts that actually worked out for me. You guys can see I was trying to learn how to maneuver it in the crochet needle. It's kind of weird. Like if you're looking in the mirror, but you're trying to place your hands to match the mirror. Sometimes it gets kind of confusing. So the first one wasn't that bad. As you guys can see, it just kind of slid through and this is how that's gonna look. Go ahead and tuck it behind your ear so it's out of the way and work on your next session. This method gets pretty repetitive, but before I let you guys just vibe out and watch the rest of the video, I wanted to note that it's easier for you to go ahead and section out the piece that you want to crochet through. The biggest thing is to make sure that you're latching it through correctly so you're not getting a furry frizzy ball of mess when you try to pull it through i am going to show you guys a few clips of that but just keep on watching till we get to the end of me crocheting everything in and then i'll come back to you guys <laughs> This is a clear difference between the side that has been crocheted and the side that has not been done yet. As you can see, one side is noticeably different than the other side. This crochet method, I'm trying to tell y'all, if y'all haven't tried it, I'm gonna need you to try it, all right? But it, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. If you stay tuned to my next video, I will be showing you guys how I uninstall it after I've worn it for a few days. So if you haven't already and you wanna see some future videos, especially me taking out this crochet method, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to my channel to come take off for me. You guys can stay updated to see any new postings and yeah. <laughs> Listen, I love the hair in its big, fluffy, beautiful state, but we are going to go ahead and define these curls on out. Inside of my spray bottle is some water, and then I'm going to go in with that Aussie Curls Conditioner. That's all I used. Y'all see I'm almost done. I love the Aussie. Great price, smells good, works wonders on curls. Once I did that, I always finger detangle first, then go in with my denim brush. 
finger detangling saves you so much shedding and saves you hair on your whiffs okay <laughs> don't be afraid to use your fingers before you use a styling tool but this is me going in i know y'all see those curls popping water and conditioner water and conditioner this texture this quality speaks volumes and it's not no thin hair y'all see how big and fluffy it is and this is the wet look basically stay tuned to the end to see how beautiful and full this hair dries to be like look at those curls so juicy and we only use water and conditioner so once i did that side i did go ahead and do that side off camera and we're going to be cutting this hair into like a shape i did want kind of like a natural looking fro curl or curly fro <laughs> so i am going to be taking off about an inch from this hair not that much but it makes a difference because i wanted to go for like that natural look and then i'm going to cut some face framing layers y'all disclaimer i wish i would have cut my layers a little longer so always start longer and go shorter i started short thinking I can go long, but we can't grow this hair back. Once the hair is moisturized and prepped, I then go in with some foam mousse or styling mousse to help define those curls. This is what it looks like, y'all. That mousse does wonders. Then I finish with some granite fruit teeth to help with any anti-frizz. It smells amazing, it helps with frizz, and this is how we're looking. And then boom. <laughs> I'm so in love with this hair, it makes no sense. Look at the volume, look at my scalp part, like, I'm very much impressed with this hair. Shout out to you, you nice hair. Don't forget y'all, all the information on this hair is down below and this viral crochet method, I feel like it speaks for itself. If you have not tried it, please try it. Comment down below. Are you gonna try this? Have you tried this? You have any tips for me? Let me know y'all, but that's it for this video. The next few clips is me styling it with a cute little headband, but that is it. <laughs> As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Oh,